Hi there, I'm Sergey Shelkov, and here's the new on-demand video to help you navigate the EdTech ecosystem. We're talking a lot about DSP as the booster of your programmatic superpowers, but how about the supply side? Publishers also have tricks up their sleeves. The exact opposite of a DSP is called a supply-side platform. And did you ever know that none other than a mighty ad server can also act as one? What is a supply-side platform? The simplest definition of an SSP is a supply-side platform is an automated ad tech platform that publishers use to manage, sell, and optimize ad inventory of their mobile apps or websites. This means that publishers can use this platform to sell their online ad placements via real-time bidding RTB, auction rather than negotiating prices directly with advertisers. Modern supply-side platforms also offer a formidable toolkit for more effective inventory management and revenue optimization. With an SSP, publishers can sell their display video and mobile inventory within a single dashboard and get more control over their placements than if they utilize services of ad networks or third-party monetization platforms. The primary purpose of an SSP is to improve the efficiency of selling ad inventory for publishers by maximizing views and fill rates. How does an SSP work? When digital advertising first emerged, publishers would manually assign ads to their empty placements. However, as audiences on publishers' sites grew, competition among advertisers for ad spaces started to heat up. It became impractical to place ads manually. This is where SSPs came in. They work together with another piece of ad tech, demand-side platforms, or DSPs, used by advertisers, based on RTB protocol we mentioned before. Here, an SSP receives a request from the user's browser when they visit the website and passes it to the DSP, enriching it with available user information. Advertisers automatically bid on this placement based on preset targeting options, CPMs, and optimization through a DSP. The highest bidders win the slot, and their ad is displayed on their website. RTB auction is automated and lasts mere milliseconds. Besides automation, its obvious benefit is that it makes publishers' ad inventory available to as many potential buyers as possible, maximizing the likelihood of selling the slot for the best price. SSP versus DSP versus ad exchange. As mentioned above, SSPs work with other forms of ad tech. DSPs and ad exchanges are other key platforms in the process of programmatic buying and selling digital ads. But how do they all differ? Ad exchanges versus DSP. Ad exchanges need data about advertisers to know which bidders qualify for a publisher's website and match their audience. They pull this information from DSPs. In turn, a DSP is used by advertisers to let an ad exchange know what their bid is and what they have to offer. Ad exchange versus SSP. SSPs are used to distribute publishers' inventory among ad exchanges. The ad exchange connects the publishers with the advertisers who want to bid on their inventory. Benefits of a supply-side platform for publishers. Some of the main ways publishers can benefit from using an SSP include access to a vast range of advertisers. SSPs can connect to multiple ad exchanges and DSPs. This allows publishers to reach way more potential advertisers in less time than while looking for partners directly. Higher fill rates. Due to the high number of advertisers publishers can reach through their SSP, there's a much higher chance of inventory being filled. Less vacant spaces are better for the publisher's bottom line, and the SSP's optimization also helps ensure that spaces are sold for the best value. Flexible price management. SSPs offer the flexibility for the publishers to determine their floor price. Thus, advertisers won't be able to bid less than a set floor price, and therefore, the slot will always be sold for the appropriate value. Higher monetization revenues. Publishers can utilize header bidding, which always implies first price RTB auctions. Here, the highest bidder pays the exact CPM of a bid in contrast to the second price auction, where the winner pays a CPM one cent higher than the second bid. First price auctions are way more beneficial for publishers and exclude the usage of bidding multipliers. Common features of supply-side platforms. An SSP comes with a ton of nifty features that make publishers' lives easier. Some of the most critical include RTB bidder, RTB allows multiple advertisers to participate in auctions for ad spaces at the same time. Advertisers all put in their highest bid without seeing what other advertisers are bidding, and the highest bidder wins. Analytics and reporting. With an SSP, publishers can create and view reports regarding the performance of their ad inventory. The data include things such as clicks, impressions, and more, and this data could be used to show the success of their ad spaces and entice more advertisers to bid in the future. Smart optimization. Optimization features of SSPs help to increase the revenue for publishers. They can set floor prices, target fill rates, and maximize eCPMs. Cross-device inventory management. 
publishers can manage all inventory types with an SSP, such as display, video, and mobile. They can blacklist advertisers, block certain ad content types, and much more to help ensure their campaigns run smoothly. What is a white label SSP? A white label product is a product that is created by one company but intended for resale. Other brands can purchase it and rebrand it as their own. For SSPs, this means that publishers can forego the cost and time of developing their SSP and buy a tried and tested product from an established ad tech company. The main difference from a self-serve SSP is that it eliminates all the hassle of using several SSPs, ad exchanges and ad networks at the same time. Publishers rely on different demand sources because this is how they try to increase fill rates on their inventory. A white label SSP solves this problem. How? A white label SSP means publishers can get up and running their very own RTP platform, getting the full transparency and setting up their own demand sources in no time, with little training or investment. So instead of being torn between multiple SSPs, you can gather all the DSPs you need in a single dashboard. White label SSPs often come with full support and onboarding to help you with inventory listing, DSP endpoint setup, and basic introduction into performance optimization. Using a white label ad server as an SSP. A white label ad server is a full stack ad serving platform for advertisers, publishers, and ad networks. It's a feature rich solution that can be tailored to your business needs. Publisher can quickly link their inventory to creatives, allowing them to monetize their sites and maximize revenue. Some ad servers, like Epon White Label Solution, can be used as SSPs by publishers, adding their placements to the programmatic supply and connecting their inventory to custom DSP endpoints. So I've covered all the basic information about SSPs that will save you hours of browsing. Subscribe to our channel and like our videos. Stay tuned for next videos.